Tom, is that we sit down every single year and we work very hard uh, to improve the, uh, the next edition. Um, so you learn a huge amount every single year and as the event evolves itself, technology moves very, very fast. Last year we had nothing for for what I would, I would call mid-tier companies, growth, uh, high growth companies that weren't on our big stages but also weren't small and exhibiting. Uh, so we built Growth Summit. We had nothing representing the environment. Uh, so we built Planet Tech. Uh, and I think when we sit down at the end of this year uh, and I look at like... Is it okay? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Just, uh, just AI, for example, I think you could probably have a three-day summit dedicated to artificial intelligence. And I also think cryptocurrency as well. The interest in cryptocurrencies is so huge, we could probably have a conference solely dedicated to that. And uh, um, yeah, so the, the, that for me, those for me are just two important takeaways. Take a question from Marcus next. Uh, Paddy, Marcus here from uh, Givesto, Germany. Um, Given that the tech scene is considering itself a uh, global scene, however you started to uh, count uh, the participation by country, um, my question is, uh, what is the country with uh, most participants and what does that say about the innovation climate? Is that they have the uh, next big idea is coming from, and a uh, second question, how would you consider uh, Germany in that scene? So, yeah, that's a very, that's a very good question. I, I mean, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, uh, the international country with the high, second highest level of participation is Germany with 5,010 attendees. Um, but maybe surprisingly, but perhaps not, because it's where most VC over the last decade has been invested in, in Europe, the UK uh, has 8,983 participants. It's absolutely, it's just, it's, it's huge. Um, but I think if you look at very recent uh, trends, last quarter was the first quarter that an, uh, an, an, a, a country in Europe that was not the UK topped the VC investment uh, list, and that was, that was France. And Germany and France relative uh, to the UK are catching up very, very rapidly. And I think the uncertainty around Brexit is only going to accelerate that change. Um, Sam Alstorn from the Dutch Financial Daily. Uh, actually, I have two questions. One is about, uh, you were saying there uh, seem to be a lot of women at yep. the conference. Can you tell me a bit more about how you go about this? You... Yeah, um, so we, we... My other question is really... Oh. I have two questions. So... Yeah. Uh, and the other question is, um, uh, there's a lot of talks about policy. Yeah. And there seems to be a lot of soul searching going on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, two very good questions. So first, we run a, a women in tech uh, program, uh, where which will launches in late November, and it gives an opportunity uh, to. Uh, to <laughs> sorry, it's very distracting. I think it's a guy doing something at the same time. Um, it gives a. Uh, it gives an opportunity. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, <laughs> Um, so it gives an opportunity uh, to women to participate at a much uh, lower cost and makes it very then very difficult I think for uh, for their businesses or the people that they they work for the businesses that they that they run um, for them for the, for them not to come and uh, the second question uh, has to be with soul searching I you know I absolutely agree I think there was um, a tacit assumption for more than a decade that all new technology was just a positive thing uh, and we should just get out of the way uh, of new ideas is a new technology. Well, you know, at best throughout history, uh, technology has been neutral. Very often times new technology uh, has had very negative consequences. Even a hundred years ago when there was euphoria around the introduction of cars, uh, they necessitated a whole new regime in terms of rules. We needed to introduce licensing. Eventually, it took us many decades to introduce seat belts. We needed traffic lights, signage systems, safety standards. Uh, and I think it's only inevitable uh, it's only inevitable.